two, one. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> Bless you, Drell. Bless you. Oh. Yeah, what a peace, oh, love, and happiness. Okay. Welcome to episode ten of BTA podcast. I'm Ali, mm-hmm. joined by Rajiv, who is AFK. Meet Sharma. Yeah. Sharma. Yes. <laughs> and Drew. Yo. It's a special midweek episode, so. Is going up not on Saturday but on Wednesday because we wanted to have Gerald on the podcast and with his work schedule, Saturdays are kind of difficult, so that's why we're doing it now. So, first and foremost, Thank how are you all doing? Uh, how are everybody going? One on the can be, yeah, yeah, I understand why, yeah. <laughs> You know, that's all it eat. Fair enough. Drew? Honest to God, I'll give it a four. Honest four. That's how I feel right now. Nice meat. Yeah. All right. Excellent. <laughs> this episode brought to you by. Was not brought to you by. Was this week's struggle tweet? Hello, Lachlan. Hi. Are we starting? We already started, yeah. I mean, okay, cool. Hey, guys. Hey. Drew, just go ahead and read all the struggle tweet for us. <laughs> yeah, but just like... Yeah. 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 Say no more. I'll go ask over meat part because meat is with Final Fantasy fourteen, so you can't see. That's right. I have the podcast running on my phone while I play Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, big brain, big, big brain. brain. Nah, Mika learned something from you. <laughs> Rajiv, hey? Yes, hello. Yeah, what's up, Rajiv? Yeah, more, 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 more. More, more. I just went for food. Rajiv, hey, welcome. Please, please give your KMB same. scores. Oh, uh, five. Nice. Um, one or two. Oh, well, yeah, I understand why <laughs> you're in the dumpster. <laughs> then. For context, Lachlan was cursing out his math homework all day. So that was great. And I failed badly, so. Old yeah. man yells at graph. <laughs> <laughs> Just a reminder you can follow us on Twitter at BTA Struggle TWTS. More struggle tweet content. That is definitely posted regularly and not whenever I feel like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways. Whenever we feel like it. Yeah. You all might post more often than I do on that account. Possibly. You're supposed to yell out your grass to make it grow better. What was it like? It used to be like twice a day? Yeah, it was like minimum twice yeah. a day. That was like once a week. So. I just self incriminate, honestly. I don't know. A lot of the struggle to tell me are posted by me. <laughs> Nepotism. I posted one the other day, but it wasn't supposed to be a struggle tweet, apparently. No, yeah, it was just the quote from the guy. It's a very famous quote. Okay. Yes, but other context, no one can know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Except, you know, like, other people who actually don't. Everything well, I post, I don't know if it's a struggle tweet or not. <laughs> Everything I do is a struggle, so I might as well tweet it. I don't get why they just always leave my door slightly open when I ask them to oh, close God. the door. All right, July. I, I know, right? right? Okay, I'm back. Welcome I'm back. <laughs> Nicola, yeah, do sure, people yeah. open your door and then not close it when they leave? Uh, that used to happen, but then I complained about you enough. And there's only one person, so... <laughs> <laughs> my problem is, like, slightly different, right? Because I have to leave my door open because of the cats. And what would happen oh. is, you like, the litter box is in my room. So if I close the door, they can't get to the litter oh. box. Yeah. Oh, I see. So, what well, happened was their box in the public place. Yeah, my mom would just like take my open door as an invitation to just always talk to me and come into my room. <laughs> That's what I mean, honestly. No, it's, no, <laughs> no. That is honestly what he means. That's why he talks to me at all times. Well, yeah. but, 
whatever. <laughs> Seems like a reasonable thing to infer from her. <laughs> but she could tell why it's open because she knows you know the box is there. Have you ever heard the term open door policy? This is not an open door policy. <laughs> 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 then put the layer box outside. Ah, you're right. I could. You know what you could do? Install one of those like dog doors in your door nah, to, for the car. Nah, you're not doing too much. I should actually. You know, that's a good idea. <laughs> no, you're doing too much. I'm not gonna have to make a day of it. You know, have to install replace, it. I'm just gonna replace your door with a kit. He's not in here. Someone can just come to the You go in the opposite direction of you, Silver. No, no. You know, like, I you know go to the Indian fair, and they have, like, those curtains with beads hanging down. Get one of those. Okay, but I also have to, like, close the door in when they're eating, right? Because I don't want them leaving their food alone. So I need something I can actually close. Not, if they're not hungry, don't make them eat. But they have to eat all their food. <laughs> Ali's You're like, uh, just don't parent. eat forehead. Yeah. Ali's literally a helicopter parent. No, I'm not. Is this? No, he's a food? he's a pet owner. That's how he's yeah. his own pets that keep them alive and well. <laughs> they need to eat food. Charma. Sometimes you have to <laughs> your pets to make sure that and, they you know they stay and they alive. They would eat their food. Yeah, but they eat a little bit, and specifically spice, just leave it alone, and sugar will go eat it. Aha. Uh -huh. Like she's so more excited by the open door. Sugar is very greedy. Sugar is very greedy. That's why he's three pounds heavier because he eats all the food. If I let him, put him on a diet. No, he, he's, he has his own portions. It's just he eats her food too. Put him on a strict training regimen. I completely forget how much fine a thing does hurt. It is killing. <laughs> oh. yeah, Anyways. The rest of us could leave, and Nikolai and Joe will just talk about Final Fantasy the entire. We had one exchange, Sharma. Fight me! Yeah. Right now. Let me hear. Let me hear what you Yeah, let me see. Listening? Let me see. Like it'll have Mona. We'll just wait. Okay. Gosh. Should make it sound like all we just talk about is Final Fantasy, Sharma. Nah, yeah, yeah. Trapping is not good. Trapping is not good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think yeah. you want to go on that. I don't even cool sign that one at all. Do not co-sign that at all, bro. You do not want to go down that road, bro. <laughs> he really thought he had something. But... <laughs> Anyways, he cannot struggle. Yeah, of course, go on. Yes, I have yes, returned to Canada. And part of the procedure with returning to Canada is you have to quarantine at home for two weeks. Welcome back, to, welcome back to Canada, where we will slowly kill you in your old house. <laughs> You're not even in Canada. Yes, I am. I, Sharma, yeah, what did he just say? Yeah, I might not, hey, Sharma, I might not be in Canada, but I at least know Ali's struggles right now. Yeah. He struggles who is to be exact. This man so, just hungry wow. in all honesty, and he wants to make groceries, but everybody in Canada is like, nah, you come here from some foreign country, you have to sit your ass in your room now. No, like two weeks is like the amount of time that it's supposed to take for symptoms to show up if you do have yeah, COVID. Like, he has three more days. He will live. I have seven more days, Sharma. Like, this is <laughs> That's a full week of pain. Really? I don't know. Yeah, so like part of it is I can't get groceries and I can't interact with people. So I've just been getting delivery. And... At least you have Kelly. Yeah, I got That's Kelly to like drop off groceries once with stuff I can microwave, but I still don't have any stuff to cook with. So. You don't cook to begin with. I nah, I'm pretty yeah, bad. You can type my man to cook. You just no. forge constructs, but I wouldn't call it cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I could cook some stuff, right? It's just I don't have any pots or pans. So, how's that? that just oh. talk to your roommate. Housemate? Uh, His roommate's are trying to associate with him, <laughs> and I cannot blame them. <laughs> So yeah, I just like I mean, ordering food fair, every two days. You with your... Yeah. Someone just talked to me. Yeah, hold on. I'll go finish my homework. Yeah, I'll be right back. Just keep talking. <laughs> right, so this man was like, yeah, speaking of struggle tweets, I then didn't discuss struggle tweets. I then had to go. <laughs> Wait. Love what up. do we do now? 
We are a ship without a rudder. Sorry. Listen, Listen I, will do I will be when we run. I will give you one. I mean, you know what? Yeah, no, 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 no. Here, here, here. Okay. I will Is this like a room with a bunch of toddlers in a room with all the adults? This is what's happening right now. So how this dude gone say I will stay at the ship? What were you talking about again? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's He's not how this is going. Trying to be in charge, but can't. I don't know. like yo. This is a Listen, uh, I don't know anything. That's just true. Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, that is just true, actually. Oh, no. Here's something I want to talk about. A segment, which is uh, my favorite dick move that God has made in the Bible. Bringing back the Bible stories. But, Every time. Hey, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yo, what's up? Yeah. What are you all talking about? Nothing is up. <laughs> Direction has returned to all eyes. <laughs> Somebody there in the ship, finally. What do you think? Up is my numbers, bro. Wait, what are you all doing? Two rows, gone. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about that. Well, I just have to because like somebody ordered a pizza and they didn't know who did it. They thought was I did. You? No, it wasn't. Ah. Mystery pizza. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, well, this man, we know this one's just getting himself strictly off of pizza. It's yeah. Like, it was just a it? pizza on the ground. I was like, no, mine is in the fridge. So. <laughs> Listen, if I was their roommates, I can't blame them. All yeah. their food is be on the floor. And you only because I don't have tables. Pizza, I don't so have tables. I don't have table space. I mean, like, because I have a desk and a bed stand, but it's like that's just covered in stuff, and I haven't gone to cleaning up yet. So, what do you think is it your fault? No. Yes. Yeah. Like, oh, yes. <laughs> what is being said? Like my room is very messy because I'm a finished unpacking. Mm. Yeah, there's just a pile of pizza boxes in the corner. <laughs> you should probably throw those away. Why don't you, you see, I have to throw those away at the dumpster downstairs, right? And make I can't a table with all the boxes. Just like stack them together with another table. I feel like this is a case where you could tell your roommates, like, yeah, let's not contract vermin in this house. <laughs> throw those away for me, please. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Let's get them. And they'll be like, hey, you know, I was wondering about that. So yeah, that's that's been my life for the past week, and we still have a week to go. Yeah, you can survive, Ali. Yeah, <laughs> can you? I would hope. I would hope so too. So it's like, if you can survive form six, and that's true. <laughs> yeah, six is different, bro. Form that was a very eventful form. period of time. Form six felt like five very, years, bro. Very <laughs> level two. of reason. Yeah. Yeah, hey, when I look back at high school, like the first five years feel like they happened in two years and then form six was like the entire thing yeah yeah exactly yeah, <laughs> i just like sped through like happened. one through four like one through four is just like one big blade to me oh wait uh, okay, I'll, I mean, like, where, where are we going next yeah. what's that you stay or ship oh okay <laughs> so yeah um Another thing that we want to talk about was, well, mostly me. I want to talk about this a lot. <laughs> One of the biggest <laughs> things to happen on Twitch ever, Alexandra Ocasio Cortez, Congresswoman in New York, she decided to Twitch stream in order to get out the vote and get people to vote in the polls. Incredibly this based. Yes. And what happened was, it was like super impromptu because she just randomly she tweeted it out. And she got a bunch of replies from people in the Twitch community and other streamers. They helped her get it set up within 24 hours. It was very rapid. But she got everything set up. And then her Twitch stream, I remember I was there because I followed her on Twitch in advance. I was very excited. She streamed <laughs> Among Us. And so... before she even started, she started the stream early with a loading screen. And she immediately shot up to like 200k before she ever started. And wow. that blew my mind. It was just a bunch of people spamming in the chat, looking at a loading screen. <laughs> Classic money move. And then, yeah. He was actually amazing. <laughs> yeah, she... When um, Ilhan Omar j- jumped in, I was like, yeah. <laughs> Ilhan Omar was also there. Yeah. We'll go over the guests, but like, yeah. She eventually shot up to like more than 400k. And I believe that was the second highest total for a Twitch stream ever. Because Ninjas was, what, oh. 600k? 
And well, she had the biggest debut like that. She set that record for sure. And yeah, wow. absolutely insane. And yeah, best part is it was just a genuinely entertaining stream. It was movie. so fun. It was about three hours. It felt like nothing at all. And I don't let me see if I can get the list of people who were on it. It was like an all star lineup as well. <laughs> well, I mean. I- I would assume, I would assume some random to show sure, like three followers not you can't show up <laughs> to the was, AOC event. Yeah, it was AOC, Ilhan Omar, Pokimane, Hassan, this guy's toast, M- MXM2. You saw me, me Pokimane at least dead, like immediately. Oh god! No, she actually oh, wow. killed Pokimane immediately. Because she rolled imposter first round and the first thing she did was go up to Pokimane, kill. She tried to vent, but she ended up pressing report instead. <laughs> yeah, that's happened. <awesome. laughs> and she reported Bro. Pokemon's dead body. And Toast was there, so you had to try and play it off. I love when AOC and Ilhan were in the imposter team, but it was just like, okay, this is the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> this and then, is yeah. doomed from the start. Yeah, Jack Septicai, H Bomber Guy, Dr. Lupo, Valkyrie, Gus Buckets, Corpse Husband. I was a big fan of Corpse Husband. It's very cool. Uh, Voice Critical and Ilhan Omar's daughter, Isra. Bro, so. I wasn't. <laughs> I didn't ever think I would hear critical interacting with AOC, but thank God I did. That was <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Is this podcast like, going on? Oh yes. Yeah. Hello, Kelly and Brandon. Podcast going on right now. Yeah. And Brandon. What's the topic? I was watching this stream yesterday. It was real good. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was very entertaining. <laughs> What's all that man? So yeah. And like I said earlier, the purpose was to get people to vote. I don't know how successful it will be. Probably would be. I sure it would be. When when I check AOC, I had like four hundred thousand viewers. Yeah, she peaked at four thirty five. Yeah. <laughs> and I yeah, they talked a lot about um bonkers. uh voting methods. She said personally, she's gonna go vote in person because they count your vote the same day when you vote in person. Stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Anybody else have thoughts? Yeah, so that I wait for AOC to start a very illustrious streaming career. <laughs> I mean, um, like, yeah. she plays League, so. She does oh, play God. League also, yeah. She's like so. <laughs> I think she support me too. It might oh, just God. be time. It might just be time. And I was talking to some people about this, but, you know, it's a testament to how much draw she has and how popular she is, but also that the future of political advertising could go to Twitch because of this. Because I it was... Twitch would be a component of it. Yeah, it would be a component of it. But, like, it's like a just genuine connection that she had with young voters. The issue is that, like, you're going to see other politicians try and do it, but they kind of neglect the whole point that you need to have... You have to actually have to interact with your audience. And be entertaining. Yeah, she was yeah. very entertaining. It was <laughs> she was very sincere. Because if you're not entertaining, one at a time, one at a time. <laughs> I trying to see Ted Cruz on Summoner's Rift. I wanted to get blamed <laughs> by everybody on both teams at the same time. <laughs> uh, Honestly, <laughs> why not? But I mean, Ted Cruz would have an advantage because he's several and not one. Yeah, that's the only <laughs> reason. He might be a beast at League of Legends with his contracts with entities beyond our understanding. I don't know. Oh, boy. Weenie oh, Sanders has also been on this... Twitch. Yo. Was... He didn't really like play any video games or anything, though. I think he's just talking to people. The, the concern it's I have is that like, the same thing with what happened to Sanders, right? He had a massive online following. But did that translate into actual votes? No, no, it didn't. I mean, it did, except he didn't have, he wasn't very popular with like, what was Midwest Americans? No, or something? the issue was that the, the people who wanted him most are the younger demographic. Yeah. And even still, the younger demographic did not vote. Mm-hmm. Like, they'll, they'll say that, yeah, cool, progressive, yay. But then they'll actually come to vote, like, eh, what's the point? And that's the issue. The same demographic that uh, AOC is drawing on Twitch is very similar. 
Well, the thing with Bernie, right? Like, voting. he was very popular. He was leading all the early Democratic polls up until they got to like the Midwest, and as Joe Biden took over. And then was, moderate. Yeah, it was neck and neck, and then like. But like, if he, what like, if all the people who said, who, if all the people online who supported him actually voted, then it could have been a you know maybe a better read. I don't know if it's like a turnout problem, right? Because like, you just think yeah. it's the demographics. Well, it turned out it was not very high in general. That's anyway. true. But, yeah. That's one it. thing I'll say about the AOC stream that one positive impact it probably had. Uh, for sure, is she talked specifically about like having a plan for voting and stuff, and not just going to vote. Even yeah. if people that were planning to vote might not have done that, and that could like get in the way of the process for them and stuff. So I think that probably has a good impact. That was a very like you, hey, pertinent point. Yeah, make sure you like figure out everything beforehand. Don't just be like, oh yeah, I know when election day is. I'm just gonna show up. Yeah. Kind of complicated over there. Isn't it? Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, yeah, shout out to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's very fun. I hope she does it again. Shout out. Shout out. Hello, Kiel. Yeah. Hopefully, this will see um at least uh, politicians feeling a. Politicians, what? Politicians, what? Breakfast Club again, but on Twitch. Jeez. I'm just waiting for like someone to try and to see that, yeah, look, Twitch is popular. Oh, and yeah. then go on it, but feel horribly. That alone <laughs> would be beautiful. That would be Ted Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> if Ted Cruz tries to do it, <laughs> I'll probably have to do I mean, like, Cruz is... I will start seven different accounts to watch Ted Cruz at the same time. Ah... Anyways, we're about halfway through, so everyone go and take a sip of water. Yes, sir. I have a confession to make. Every single time you said go and take a sip of water, I have never taken a sip of water. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. It's so, like that. I drink. I know you've drinking water. I drink in juice. <laughs> drink some. Oh right? well, go ahead. Uh, sure I want to talk about something for a second. Go ahead. I now come from a Zoom call with e-commerce, and I learn nothing. <laughs> Oh. How much did you pay uh, to get into that forex call, Kiel? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It, I just bad boy. Just wasted my time. The only thing that I learned. We warned is you. Drop shipping is a thing that I did not know. I have a frog on my yard earlier. Yeah, drop shipping is a thing that I did not know about prior. Oh, really? That is. That is. That is. All. Would you like? <laughs> That is all. Would you like to inform our audience about dropshipping? <laughs> no uh, way. The word of the day is dropshipping. Basically, the day is you no pay. Drop. I don't. Did you I'm not make sure you yeah, adjust according. Nah, nah. The, uh, the, uh, where am I going to get the etymology of dropshipping? Nah, uh, yeah, <laughs> a customer. Yeah, time, a like customer you. like pays you eighty dollars for a product, and then but the product because actually like thirty dollars wholesale. So you buy it for thirty, and then it's like a fifty dollars shipping fee or something. I honestly, honestly, God, I still don't know how it works. Yeah, you don't sound like very shit. You didn't sound like you like had nothing. <laughs> you know what I the etymology of drop shipping is? It's drop plus ship. I don't know what you expected from me, bro. <laughs> yeah, like you need to go back there. to that Zoom call, bro. <laughs> Take better note. Now, nah, but it was like. I don't want to call names, but it's sort of like a, a marketing thing. Forex. Where, yeah. Hey. Like a <laughs> <Wait. laughs> nah, nah, it's over. Because like, it's like, over. It's like you, you pay a monthly thing, and then if you bring in two more people, uh, you don't have to pay oh, anymore. This is Forex. Okay. This is literally Forex. You were describing a pyramid scheme. Yeah, it sounds like a pyramid. I was gonna say yeah. no offense to all the foreign people, all the forex people out there, but full offense to all the forex people out there. Yeah, like, no, no, but like, every yeah. like drop shipping is like an actual thing. That's just a retail business selling stuff that they don't actually have in stock. So they just yeah. keep selling things, but like they're ordering it uh, immediately, and then and then that's all for anybody else. So. Or... Man of man.
Well, well, well. Anyways, yeah, Kale, please do not give any more money to the Forex people. That's my advice. I, th I think we disconnect. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's live television. It's happening. No. It's so random though. Like, why did that happen? This is really weird. Just connect. God damn it. Hmm. Live television. Oh. Uh, in the meantime, what can I talk about? I don't think there's really anything I can talk about on my own. I don't think of anything that interesting. Let me try this. I'm gonna connect now. There's also a problem with just moving to... Oh, we're back. There's just a problem with moving to a new place, I guess. How are we doing? 26 minutes so far. Not bad. Oh, it disconnected again? Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, right we are back. Yes, oh, we are. Ali, <laughs> sweet, oh, sweet direction. Ali, yeah. don't do that again. Where are you going? <laughs> You're scared of someone. Does he say yes. for night? No, this was because of Wi-Fi. Like, my Wi-Fi just cut off. All your Wi-Fi in the world just cut off? I, I didn't connect to the backup Wi-Fi yet, which is probably dumb on my part. I should do that at some point. <laughs> but yeah, what you always talking about while it's gone. Because this time you're not going to be recorded what you're always talking about. We talk about my friend just... I shout out my friend. Do it now, yeah, do it now. Do it back now, do it now. Shout out to my friend. <laughs> Which one? Uh, I, I nearly call his name, but I... No. We shall not finish. I, Why are you shouting him out if you're yeah. not going to name him? Because right, we're going to send it to him. <laughs> I, I, I feel it will be conveyed, you know? So anyways, the last thing I said was... You're just not real. Yeah, the last thing I said was just, Kale, please do not give any more of your money to the Forex people. That's all. We didn't hear that. Okay. Yeah, Drew, what's up? You want to tell the story now? I want to shout out. Before I start, shout, before I start my stories, uh, about my workplace, shout out to my co-workers who I, just have to who I just have to deal with on a daily basis. Oliver is the best. Also, <laughs> thank God. Why did you with the best? <laughs> Oliver is the only reason why I, I haven't gone completely insane at that job yet. Secondly, my second shout out is go to three people that I know. Yo, bro, shout out to them. I know these people for the past two years and they've helped me with my mental safety for the longest time. Shout out to my friend Carla. You just confuse me sometimes with your comments. But overall, yeah, I love you and oh, thank oh. you. This podcast <laughs> going to have the most views. Shout out. Uh. Shout out to my friend Anna. Because if I didn't meet you two years before, I do not know where the hell I would be. And of course, shout out to my friend Zeno. He's a degenerate, but I still love him. <laughs> <laughs> he is a degenerate. Yeah, right, that's just true. Do you also like one of those people that will call you into a radio station and be like, hey, big listen, up. Listen, Quanto. listen, listen. Listen, 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 all the dogs had a, all the dogs had a feel appreciated. Yeah, listen, all listen. All and of course, team. shout out to all of you here in the podcast for what to do. Yeah, yeah right everybody team. give yourself oh. a round of applause. Hey. We right here. Yeah, yeah, me today. too. Hey, Don. We locked into the radio station. Wait, hold on, hold on. I have a story. I was listening to the radio, right? And the man was like, "Yeah, shout out to my girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend anymore, but I still love she." And this one was just calling. <laughs> 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 I was like, "So annoying." Right, I want to go through. Right here. I want to go through. Yeah, that one. Uh, oh, plus, boy. All right, all right. So, <laughs> yeah, all right, go so ahead. I have many stories about my job. All right, so. 
Or they want to hear something that was absolutely chaotic or something that is a little more... I'll just yeah, say it. On the karma side. Uh, Jeroen, remember, no, no bad words. Something that <laughs> you're not going to have to make me edit this later. Please. No Use names, Jeroen. All right, so... Yeah, no names. All right, so... Well, no names. I don't, I'm not saying no names or anything. But there was well, a day at work. There was, well, not a day, a night at work where I was... Well, that I was working. Not a day, a night. <laughs> 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 What's going on, bro? <laughs> anyway, so I work in, and then next day we get our order, uh, or for like the mobile order thing. I we take it like, oh, it's gonna be Uber Eats or something. Nah, some man order something from Yelp. And <laughs> funny thing is, is that um, this same guy who ordered from Yelp also ordered from Yelp like two months ago, to the point where like me and my boss had to call the police on this man and tell this man to actually get out. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Wait, what? What's going on, bro? So I, I feel like I missed that point of information. Yeah. Right, why so did you have to call the police on me? Yelp, right? Yeah. So that automatically doesn't put his order in the system properly. So we don't get like a receipt for his order, but it's still there, like on the system. But if you don't have like a paper receipt, it's like halfway legit, you know. I see. <laughs> I don't understand the inner workings of the system, but go on. I don't in know this day and age, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, you're a <laughs> Alright, alright, so, I mean, all right, so, so, here's, so here's the thing. If you order through Uber Eats or DoorDash, the um, register itself will print out like a receipt for the order, and you'll have it there to use. So you can give it to the person with their name and everything. And then this man come up to the drive through window, like, dead at night, like, it's 10 o'clock in the night. Like, course, we trying to close because we close at 11 that night now. So, we're here trying to close, and the next thing you know, I hear banging on the window. Oh, boy. So I, I walk up to the window and I open the door, and I see this man here, and he's like, Hey, where do you have my food is, boy? <laughs> I wanted to know. <laughs> I was like, Um, have you ordered through the intercom? Because sir, I can't help you if you order through the intercom. And he showed me he phone. And then, when he's when I see Yelp, I immediately say, Oh, god, not this again. And he's like, what do you, f- you mean by not this again? I was like, oh boy. Listen, this is why we say you should never order through Yelp. You need to order through Uber Eats or DoorDash. And then he's like, but what's the difference? I order food and I want my food. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, all right, just wait right there. I just tell that man, wait right there. And I didn't admit to making this man order. And the next thing you know, I get a, we get a rush of people. Like, this, like that's what I just call the rat rush, honestly. I shouldn't be calling these people rats, but... Rat rush? <laughs> that's not like a Nintendo DS game. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It does, though. Anyway, so, like, we're telling him ready to close and everything. And I do this man order, like, real half ass and all that. And then next thing you know, ping after ping after ping in the drive thru and as I set up people coming through being like, hey, we want food. Like, course, it is 10 o'clock in the night. We fry us now, we fry us off and we're getting ready to close. I don't know, all they're men making all these ridiculous requests for family meals and all that kind of thing. The only thing we have is like small thing like sandwich if you want and all that. Like probably like a two piece or a three piece if you want to. And then all the while we're doing that, we had this crazy man there at the window knocking, 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 going straight all. Sound <laughs> <laughs> ASMR, bro. <laughs> <laughs> to the point where, like, my boss come up to the window and sat yelling at this man, like, full on yelling, no holding back. And the man was cussed left, right, center. <laughs> well, yeah, mother. <laughs> yeah, melee in the Popeyes right I feel like I'm in the rumor drill right now. It's very immersive. <laughs> <You're right, you're laughs> right. something. So my boss went completely ballistic on this man and my coworker here, she tried to tell my boss to be like, hey, calm down, you don't have to deal with J10's blood pressure and you don't let this man <laughs> she oh, any blood pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. The next thing you know was like we did this man still going off and i tell my boss all right, all right go 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 i go do with him next thing you know i see my boss walking away holding his chest i was like ah shit that can't be good yeah so if anyone ever come to papa it's like dead no. at night 
<laughs> Dylan, you're already traumatized. <laughs> I just feel like no, I just saying, please, as an employee at a fast food place that is work that is work late at night, please, if you're coming, try not to be a decent human being. Don't cause the death to my boss, please. He's the man who yeah. just signed my paychecks and get oh, me paid. No, if he no. dead. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. I don't think that's how cooperation is working. No, no, no. I just said, if my boss dead, I will have nobody else to man this store. Who go, who go pay the employee paycheck? <laughs> and who go pay the store? Right. Like, I saw a sister yeah, manager. Either they go, you will go from Yeah, yeah, but either they yeah, will. Yeah. They will They'll send a new person. You or don't they have any person. Give you a, like, yeah. Bo- bosses aren't finite. <laughs> You'll get more. Yeah. <sighs> you know, I just over exaggerated, right? <laughs> yeah, I, but know I, how co- I know how corporations just work. Well, at the same time, I'm just like, you cause the death. If you cause the death of my, of my, my hiring, but my hiring officer, I will say, listen, you see you, I don't want you around here ever again. I mean, that's reasonable to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Think it'd be a reasonable thing. But Drew, see the right between. I can't really be wrong for that one. But I want to be just jump to here, money. Like, if you go in, if I walk in, it's ten o'clock. I was like, yeah, what's some chicken? Is like, now nah, we do our chicken. And I'll be like, where's that one? You was KFC. Let me talk to your manager. The manager will walk out and be like. Dog, you know what time it is? Like, go home. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go watch, Lord. Well, the thing is, is that I would be like that too. I would see a man walk in here at 10 o'clock in, in the night. I'd be like, hey, we close in. This is what we have. So you could take what we have because I ain't cooking nothing else. But you see, my boss on the other hand, he's a greedy bitch. So he want money. Oh. Uh-huh. Nah, the worst is like, Wait, oh. you know, the KFC workers, as soon as you start to talk to stupid stuff, yeah? I yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand, but come now, man. Yeah. It's like that Kill Up City video with the Jai at 3 a.m. Never seen it. Shout out to Kill Up City. Shout out to Kill Up City. They don't have nothing. They don't even have water. <laughs> Alright, so that's one story that happened. Here's the next thing that happened yesterday. Oh, yesterday oh, while I was working. I go in the I got in there four o'clock in the four o'clock in the afternoon. Lunch rush now finishing and everything. So I was like, "How the hell?" Why well, I vex? Anyways, um, I'm playing my boss here right that's now. Precisely. Listen, I'm I tell stories. Meet, meet, meet. So say here, here, brother. A minion drop. I roll a ninety-six. Zeno roll a ninety-nine. I want strong. <laughs> oh, you just like yeah, branch off to a completely different story. I. Why do we call now start? We just need to leave and leave Jill and the guys to just talk about things. You mind get distracted once, Sharma, if you don't leave me alone? Well, but yeah, Jill, sorry. Yeah, so, so I'm walking for a clock. Place now starting to wind down, wind down for after the lunch rush and everything. And then the first thing I see, the first customer I see to walk in this store, I was like, oh my god, I can't even tell this day you're not going, I'm going good. I just stuck in chicken, and then I turn around and I see this this lady walking, this old lady, short short old lady walking, and then she was like, "No, even I, I didn't even say like hi, welcome to Popeyes or anything." I now turn around ready to say hi, welcome to job. Popeyes. No, I turn around ready to say <laughs> hi, welcome to Popeyes. How can I help you? I could even say that this lady was what I will wait whoever fresh chicken or they have cooking. Okay. I adjusted my glasses and I simply say, ma'am, this chicken we have just came and then she said, don't give me that bullshit. I want to chicken what they have. So I simply say, okay, you say you want the freshest chicken that we have. Okay, ma'am. Drill no. Drill no. This way I can tell you how... Listen, you only want to know these stories, all they want to hear these stories of my workplace, so I will say this. What we get ourselves into? <laughs> you know what you get yourself into. You just hear this one talking about four months. Continue, Joel, so please. I, I took a deep breath. Just please I do not confess me. to any crimes. I did not Listen. confess to any crimes. All I not tell yet. this lady, all, yet. I tell this, all I tell this woman was, is that the chicken now we have just came up five minutes ago. 
as you can see, we have three full trays of chicken. None of them are going to. <clears throat> we are not going to cook any more chicken until these at least one of these trays are empty. I just like, well, then why don't you just throw away all the old chicken? Nobody go and eat it anyways. <laughs> you know, I was you like, know, all you're supposed to do in that situation is just be like, like, okay, wait for the fresh chicken. And then she just had to wait until she had to wait for, like, I mean, didn't really she didn't really have to tell her. I mean, she wait. sat down, she waited for two straight hours because we straight ignored her. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's not like Popeye's to me. That's not like the Popeye's experience. Yeah, I, I don't was think the dog, not like Florida. I don't want someone. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, we get a new fryer, and he say he work at Popeyes in Florida. The Popeyes there is twenty four seven. Oh, 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 oh. Dog, yo, <laughs> my friend in here, I know. I thought you said about the appliance, like we got. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I thought you said. <laughs> Oh, yes, <laughs> stupid, for stupid, yeah. sick of. This, this prior was nah, was in Florida. Nah, I can't forgive all of it all. There's no room for the fast food here. I just want to get some Popeyes. And I was like, all right. At that point, I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, the fryer used to be in Florida and then move it here. Fine. And then he said, he said. And then I was like, wait, wait, wait. The appliance vegan? <laughs> Not the Technology is crazy okay. right now. The fryer itself, you're done. So I'm talking about the person who worked in my fryer. Oh, no. My brain didn't... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I had a Jarrell moment, it's fine. I feel like, I feel like, oh, yeah, shit. You just want to just in front of you, wouldn't please? <laughs> Jarrell yeah, moment. Like, that was the point. <laughs> I feel like, oh, yeah, shit. Just say Jarrell, place of work. Jarrell said his own place of work. I know. Yeah, I know. It is a game for buys in New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> well, so we, we just talked to him say, right now. Yeah, we did just say his name. Um, whatever. He'll be fine. I don't know his last name. Well, I don't tell. I try to keep it everything anonymous. Like I try not to say the names of any of my cool because because yeah. I know yeah. if they so happen to stumble upon this, oh boy, I probably gonna get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Man, see, that's me. They if they see this one. It is. Yeah, looking at the fast food tales right now. Um. Anyway, so who gave I... the high school to Popeyes? Jarrell, you did. <laughs> 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 no, to be fair, Jarrell has popped by a lot of different. I mean, it's yeah. low key. It's yes, it's it's a corporal bias, but I like Cor- we established this already. I just go to places that I like to eat and only specifically get what I like to eat. I don't try to experiment with anything else. Okay, but like you gave every single place a score four above. Yeah, because I like those places. <laughs> every single one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, uh. Sharma, Kelly, and Lachlan. No, I, I think I understand before. what he said. I think he means that what? he goes to Popeyes and he eats this one thing in Popeyes that he really likes and then everything else is trash. <laughs> Pretty much. Anyways, as yeah. I was saying, uh, so I tell this lady she could stay there and wait as long as she wants and she's like, well, fine, I'll do it just that. She sit down and we get like the little, the little, like, how to say it, like, after lunch rush where people like they're not coming home and saying from work and all yeah, that they're looking for dinner yeah like around six o'clock six o'clock seven o'clock <laughs> six seven know, o'clock they don't know. six or seven then, and then next thing you know i hear i hear this woman walk up and bang she hand on the table and then she start cussing me <laughs> like straight down sad to cuss me <laughs> and then she's like where do you buy chicken and i say you wanted fresh chicken, right? But if I have to wait. <laughs> and to be honest, she had to wait too. She had to yeah. wait. That's how. That's the worst one. She asks <laughs> for it, you know. But yeah. Also, why, um, Nikolai, why are you referring to comments on Price Mart? We're referring to comment because I don't eat Price Mart pizza and stuff enough to have any. Sorma and you know. Kelly, explain why you all gave. You know, Popeye's E4. Popeye's is Popeye's win. But I like Popeye's fries. Kelly? Pop fries. Explain why what? Why you gave Popeye's a 4 out of 5 on the fast food tier list. Like the tenders. I also like oh, the yeah. tenders. That's true. Yeah, the tenders. Lizzie, we ain't miss yet. 
I just like get Popeyes a one because I think they're overpriced and with KFC existing, I just never need to eat Popeyes. Yeah, Popeyes, yeah, Popeyes is extremely overpriced. overpriced. Yeah, Popeyes. that's why. No In Canada, it's not as bad. So. Oh, yeah. Anyways, I think we're ready to move on. Thank you for the story. No, I, still, I still didn't finish it. Like, yeah, I, didn't, I still didn't finish that one. Sorry. Yeah, good <laughs> good. Yeah, she she go. had to wait. And then she was like, I want to speak to your manager. And I simply said, I am the manager because <laughs> I have one of who should. And my manager did the back deal with some more like serious paperwork and all that. So now I'm just like, with cap- so <laughs> she was like, why are you taking so long to fill out my order? And I say, you want, you said you wanted fresh chicken. So we waited till we get fresh chicken. Okay. And well, the fresh chicken ain't come up yet. Because we had chicken cooking and everything. And she, she was like, I'm just going to remember your name, report you to corporate, because this is robbery. I'm like, you can't call it robbery if I didn't take any money from you. And she's like, yeah, you <laughs> robbed me. You robbed me from dinner. You robbed me my dinner. And I simply said, ma'am, I'm just going to have to ask you to leave because if you're accusing me of I am robbing you of dinner, in some extent, yes, but no, <laughs> I am not. <laughs> to some extent, it is low-key me robbing you by not giving you what you want because you said you wanted fresh chicken, but do we have fresh chicken? As you can see with your eyes, we do not. Now, I would ask you kindly to leave. I have other paying customers. I have yeah, other I customers came here. <laughs> I have paying customers. Here. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I have customers here who are willing to pay um, their well-earned money for food here. And if you say I'm robbing you of dinner, well, then fine. You could go to the supermarket right next door, buy some groceries, and look up on YouTube how to cook something. <laughs> no, no. Good evening. 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 I t- after I tell she that, this woman walk out, walk out to the door and she slam it to the point where one of the glass crack. Oh, oh. property damage fellas. <laughs> so I just leave she there. And that was it. I, I never see. I never see. I never see her for the rest of the day. And honestly, I don't even know if she if she came in today. But from what I heard from what about my other coworkers is that that woman does come there, and she has only ordered the exact thing every time, which is she wants the five dollar three piece and a biscuit, but she wants the freshest chicken and the freshest biscuits that we have. Even well, five dollars that's a good deal though. <laughs> That's a good deal. Yeah, but it's like it's a discounted thing, and you want the best of the best of what you have. Yeah, we don't mind if it's like an eight piece or like a family meal or something. If you want, then yeah, I'll give you your fresh chicken if you ask for your fresh chicken. But you want a three piece and you want fresh chicken, lady, you have to be mad. <laughs> lady, you have to be mad. Lady, you required to be mad. <laughs> I mean, some of these people are mad. I will admit that. This guy. <laughs> They just get triggered over the most simplest things. And let me tell you, when I take an order through the drive through window, I just be tired. And so my voice just be real monotone. There was this one time where this man was like, hey, you could probably, like, you know, change your tone and try and sound like with <laughs> some Louisiana, with like some Louisiana and like, you know, hospitality. I was like, I don't know hospitality because I am tired. It is just my tone of voice. I am sorry if my monotone disturbs you. My monotone is still You want to smile, baby. <laughs> that <is> sentence. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. You're getting sexually harassed in the workplace, bro. You know how many people leave the line because they say they don't like my tone and they'd rather talk to somebody else? Or I hear customers being all like, hey, could you get like a different, like, I would be in the midst of taking an order and then I would have to walk away and do something. Then one of my other coworkers will come and take the order for me. And then the customers would straight say, hey, you stay. We don't want that asshole who, co- who was talking to us earlier here. <laughs> I, was like, I, I, I was like, all right. I was like, all right. I feel like I'm promoting his left and right. True. I would love that boy. They say that's weed dog. 
That's Jalacha. Jerul. All I gotta say is, I did not work in a paint shop. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank true, you, very true. It is the paint shop. No! <laughs> Are you sure? Anyways, I feel we could skip cheese because no. we didn't have anything to talk about with cheese. Just the <laughs> fact that it was made with New Zealand milk, that's all. That's literally it. American cheese Loki sucks. Not that Loki. It's not Loki. It's whatever. <laughs> uh, I don't want to hear that one at all. Well, yeah, we could just move on. We want to talk about. You want me to talk relief. about uh, my Bible story for the week? Uh, yeah, one? <laughs> well, yes, that is why I said my Bible story. You think I was just going to volunteer and then be like, well, for this hard life. No, because you didn't bring it up any sound test. So. But yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, I wrote up when he was gone. I forgot. <laughs> you know what? Oh, you want to see it for next week then? Or what do you want to do? Early in Alright, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> but I can. You always see. No, what do you want to do then? Okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll stop going to Alayana. You know. <laughs> I was just trying to be difficult, but gosh, it's fine. Um, so we're talking about my favorite dick move that the Old Testament God did, right? Oh, so, that's no I heard. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's exactly uh, what I heard. Yeah. Dick maneuver. So basically, um, <laughs> it takes place when uh, the Israelites, you know, they just get over that whole slavery thing and they're in the wilderness and a lot of things going on. Now, the Israelites are the most ungrateful people to ever like exist, right? Like Moses had to deal with these men and God bless his soul for having the patience to deal with that but god did not bless his soul because of the events of this story right so <laughs> my man moses shows up uh and throughout the tribulations it was supposed to be 40 i think 40 days that they were supposed to be in the wilderness something along those lines uh it wasn't 40 days it was 40 years of <laughs> moses having to deal with these dudes just being the worst and um one of the ways in which they are the worst is that they're always complaining about something. And sometimes their complaints kind of make sense, but most times they don't. Uh, uh, this is one of the times where it kind of makes sense, which was uh, they needed water, right? And yeah, wait, let me go one time me before... <laughs> what my boy said? Is it? Anyway. He said, let me get wet. <laughs> <laughs> classic, classic. But yeah, so these boys, they... um. They wanted some water. And this had happened one time before, right? And at that time, God was like, yeah, Moses, uh, just slap the rock with this stick and oh, I, water will spring forth from the rock. And he was like, word, you are God. I will believe you. And he did it. <laughs> word, you are God. So this time, my man, Moses, uh, same thing happened. And he's like, at this point, it's been 40 years. Moses is incredibly like burns out on this these Israelites, which anybody would be. Uh, they, you can't like turn your back from them for two seconds without them like getting some pagan god to worship or something, even though they have God literally giving them manna from out of heaven. But they're like, you know what? Kinda getting old in it. <laughs> this food kinda getting old, kinda want something else. So was this at the end of his rope? He feels some type of way. It has the rock here. And God is like, yeah, just go instead of hitting the rock this time, we're gonna switch it up on him. Uh, I need you to go talk to the rock, and the rock will give you water. And Moses, being a disillusioned worker, was like, Yeah, yeah, ting, 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 ting. Uh, and he just walked up to the rock and hit it, right? Instead of talking to it. And they got water. And it's like, okay, weird, everything is fine. Everything is not fine because God was feeling kind of cranky that day. And he was like, you know, Moses, even though it's been like 40 years of us doing this together and all that, and you like have not been letting me down, this time I kind of like real salty about this one. So because you hit the rock, instead of talking to the rock, uh, you will not get to enter the promised land. And he's like, wait, 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 what? And he's like, yeah, so you will be able to see it. You'll go up on like a cliff and you'll see it after these 40 years. 
uh, but you're not going to get to enter. You'll die before you enter. And he's like, I just, I just hit the rock. And God was like, yeah, but that's enough for me, bro. <laughs> and as a result, Moses, after dealing with these people for 40 years, was resigned to never be able to see the promised land. And in fact, died right outside of it. Uh, which is the most unhinged thing that God could have done. He's literally just like, yeah, well, it's been 40 years, but I kind of have feeling it today, so I'll. Uh, and <laughs> that story always makes me like feel really bad for Moses. Because <laughs> he really didn't deserve it, bro. He was doing his best. I mean, he did like murder some people sometimes. I mean, like, oh gosh. Same thing, thing. Every now and then. This was unrelated, you know? Yeah. But yeah, nice I just wanted to. I was just thinking about today. I felt the need to really talk about how I. I was going to crack up every time. Nice. End of story. And scene. Where did Rajiv go? He disappeared to hell knows where. Rajiv left and then they left. Uh, well, well, we could talk about the stress relief thing to wrap up then and go a little bit extra. Stress relief? All right. Let yeah. me tell you what. No, we're going on in line, please. Hold on. All right. <laughs> it's just okay, like. Bye bye. <laughs> Kelly. I go in for food. Talk about what you do to relieve your stress, please. I sleep. Thank you. Good okay, input. Goodbye. goodbye. Thank you for showing up. Oh, she was so aggressive. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Put me on the spot. Good one. Yes, sir. <laughs> put me on the spot. spot. What do you do to relieve stress? <laughs> I, I didn't. Uh, what? What Ali was saying? What do you do to relieve stress? <laughs> Oh, fellas, if I, a little, you almost start that story? No, 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 yeah. Lachlan here? Yes. What do you do to relieve stress, Lachlan? Um, well, one thing I do is, you know, the thing that I feel like we all do, the M word, you know? <laughs> meditate. <laughs> meditate. 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 Yes. Meditate. I just like yes. to, I just like to uh, clarify that my eyes yeah, like no draw and listen to music. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of, like... I can't, the ritual I've kind of gotten into recently is like a combination of like meditation and journaling. So I'll meditate for like five minutes just to like, I guess, get out of the bad energy. I want Wait, to, it works you surprisingly about, well. You, you actually meditate? I thought it was just a gag. Yeah. <laughs> no, actual thing. It actually <laughs> worked really well. That's crazy. It's a good way to deal with stress relief, actually. I like, think people like, to do that. Kind of breathing exercises and like visualization and stuff. It, helps keep your brain focused and I tend to not be focused. So that's helpful. And then I've mentioned it a few times, but I've also been journaling a lot, which is basically just like writing out your thoughts. And it's a good way to deal with like, I don't know, I find it's a good way to deal with the loneliness, especially because I can just write out all of my stuff. And it's also helpful for me to, in terms of like expression and my writing, because it gives me more practice, you know, verbalizing my thoughts and putting them down somewhere and giving them physical form. So that's fun. Uh, nice. Meet. I just play Final Fantasy. Hey, Sharma. You already know my circle mimicry. Sharma, go ahead. I, um, I like to bake. Stress oh, yeah. Eat. You mentioned being a stress baker before. Yeah, I just stress eat so much. <laughs> it's like, team yeah, up. You, 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 you could stress I bake. Like, I, I'll stress eat. When I stress <laughs> bake, I don't eat anything after I don't bake it because I don't want to eat. I just want to bake. So, Brandon. I was scared, you know. I don't know that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll eat everything you bake. Yeah. Sharma, just be yeah. putting baked goods into the world and then doing nothing with them. <laughs> yeah. There's a person yes, yeah, yeah. in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, I, I don't know when you all play Skyrim, but it's like when you just collect all the cheese and you never eat it. And you just yesterday, have cheese in your home. Yesterday, I, I baked, it was 12 muffins and I had one this morning. But I didn't have any more. And then my father was in home. 
and I didn't like seeing it like in the kitchen not being eaten and I didn't really want any because the point wasn't to eat it. So it had tell like me a throw with my no, 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 it had children over by my neighbor, and I just gave them it. Okay. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's very awesome. Do you want to text that both things from strangers? And unless those strangers are Anjani Sharma. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> unless you have a buzz cut. You're that good. Unless you have a buzz cut. <laughs> Don't accept things from strangers unless they have a buzz cut, yes. Oh, yeah, because then they're probably in the arm. All of those are all good people. <laughs> yeah. Right. Drill, what about you? Uh, stress, stressly, stressly. Oh boy, I have so many things I just do to relieve stress. Back to them off, go ahead. Uh, meditation. Hey. Yeah. Like, no, I will sit down on my chair, legs crossed, and I would actually meditate. No, same. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a bunch of holes in the wall. Like, in my... <laughs> <laughs> That's a <laughs> turn, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's one answer. Explains why my knuckles are busted up sometimes. Yep, yep. Um, the next thing I like to do is that I like to screech to the heavens, saying as loud as I possibly can how much I hate the world, but in the end, that does never work. Mm-hmm. If anything, I think I'm probably on a watch list by everybody in the neighborhood. Watch now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Gerald didn't scream for the week. Somebody go check on him. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch this, bro. Oh, well, so, 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 so. Uh, sometimes when I walk at home, I don't even walk straight home. I take a quote unquote scenic route. Though at the same time, me taking a scenic route would be a bad idea because I live so close to a ghetto. I feel like I might get mug one day. Same. So, I think I probably have one other thing. Oh yeah, two other things. As you know, look at a plethora of memes for an entire hour. <laughs> or I just, or I just dig myself deeper and deeper into the Final Fantasy wormhole that I've dug myself into. Nice. Yes. Oh wait, I have two more that I started doing recently, actually. Wait, uh, Ali, what about you? Let him wait. Should... No, you go oh, ahead. Yeah, let's go. Go ahead, Michael. You go ahead. Hmm? You go ahead. Oh. Um, the two main things I've been doing recently is, one, reading manga, because I've gotten really addicted to Slam Dunk recently. And whenever I have free time and I don't feel like working, I just read a few chapters because it keeps my brain, it keeps my brain more stimulated than actually watching an anime or you're, like, falling into YouTube holes. So that's fun. And then the other thing is just going outside because fresh air is good for you and so is sunlight. And when you absorb that stuff into your body, it's great. And it's great to live in a country that doesn't have negative degree weather, that you can just do that at any point. Okay, keep flexing. <laughs> keep flexing. <laughs> so that well no, no all keep kinds flexing, of Lachlan. All right. Mine is just like, um, play chess sometimes. Chess is end up stressing me out too. Um, <laughs> Uh, I eat candy a lot. I think that's it. Candy. I love candy. Oh, yeah, same. And I eat a lot. Too. Candy got me through first year. It's a miracle I don't have diabetes. Look, when you have seen like the giant bags of gummy bears that I used to keep in my room. I used to have bags that were almost as big, so. Yeah. I'd say candy. All right. Yeah. Anybody have any closing remarks? Oh, yeah. I forgot about alcohol. Anyway. Ah, yeah. Alcohol. Yeah, you're right. That's only really fun with friends to me. No, <laughs> you don't understand. I remember also, it was like I, like I like way too much inside. I remember it was like uh, it was twenty eighteen. Dylan said, "BRB, I was in a Discord call," and he went to like go get You're alcohol. You're wrong. Is that twenty eighteen? Because I didn't drink. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, it was twenty eighteen. Yeah, like, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> no, he went to go get alcohol to come back and sit on and drink over the boys' call. And you're like, Dylan, you're yeah, an alcoholic, bro. It's going to be me in a second. I you're remember that night because, because my father walked in your room and he was like, wait, you drink it by yourself? And I was like, no, and I called and he was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my mother it's... would send me to rehab. <laughs> no, that's when we all knew that Dylan was an alcoholic. That I also realized bro, I was screaming the pillow. I, that, the most part is, if that really is 2018, 
I take my first drink ever in September of 2018. So it probably wasn't even for Okay, it was probably 19. It was probably 19. It's probably 19. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. You're right, you're right. Wait, someone rejoin. Kali, how do you de-stress? Kali? Yo, we record well, right now. Close. Yeah, we're live, we're live. We close enough Kali, right how do you relieve your stress? Relieve my stress? I can't sit on yeah. the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. I like yeah. how everybody make that joke. <laughs> yeah. Ain't a joke, guys. Medication, fellas. Medication. <laughs> All right. One yeah. joke, me joking. Closing remarks, fellas. Yo, before we wrap up. You good? I think we could. Yeah, you know us, bro. Yeah, we're yeah. good. Yeah. Probably you want to say anything else because he just showed up. Um, nothing too important right now. I was gonna give a reason about why I'm so late, but nah, don't be care. Is that personal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> That's yeah, 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 get stuff right there. Yeah, no, no pressure. Yeah. All right, for everybody here, this has been BTA Podcast Episode Ten. Yes, sir. Everybody say goodnight. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.